Hello, Grace family. Susan and I thought that it might be important right now to get some encouragement to married couples because this is a weird time that we're in. And we just thought that uh, many married couples are going to find themselves in a little extra stress right now. So we just want to give you guys a couple of tips uh, really quickly, some things to think about during this time. And the first one is this. Uh, let's be generous of thought right now. Yeah, I just looked at a devotional that I thought was really good. And it was just about uh, kind of bringing in your thoughts to make sure you're thinking positive things. So instead of saying, hey, why is Jeff doing that? Thinking, oh, I really like that he does that and some positive things. So this is a time to be intentional about your thoughts. And, and yeah, just generous of thought of they have good intentions. They're not our enemy. This is a joke around our house because we keep telling ourselves we're generous of thought. When we're not generous of thought, we say, but we're generous of thought, <laughs> which simply means to think the best of the other person. And right now, uh, families are under a little extra stress. Uh, kids are home. Uh, people are worried about finances, about the health, all sorts of things. And so in that midst of extra stress, let's give extra grace to one another as well. Absolutely critical. Be generous of thought. Uh, here's, here's the second thing. Let's be very intentional right now of creating some time with our spouse. Because one of the things that we often do is we get to thinking, especially those of you who have kids, we get to thinking all about the kids. What can we do for the kids? How do we keep the kids busy? The kids, the kids, the kids. And you guys know that one of the principles of life is put on your own oxygen mask first. And as a couple, you need to make sure that the health of your marriage is primary. I love that what the Mo's did Saturday night, I believe. That was good. And yeah, they intentionally told us about how they were being intentional about spending time together. So they got the, told the kids they had to stay back in a different room. And then they just took the time to do a little bit at home just themselves. They made cookies. They played a game. But it was just their time together. And I love that they were intentional about that. And, yeah. time. and when life gets crazy, we tend to not do some of the most important things in life. We tend to not pray. We tend to just get busy and start doing activities and not going. One of the most important things that we can do is make sure that we're connected, that we're in line, uh, that, that we're uh, pushing into the health of our marriage. We often call that date night, but people get confused and think that you have to go out. It just means being intentional about the time that you spend together. Yeah, cook dinner together, play a game together, go on a walk if you can for 30 minutes and just have time to talk without all the other distractions. And if you have kids, make them go to bed one night. Uh, it, it's okay. <laughs> Let them know that, that you want to spend time with one another and that you're putting them to bed because mom and dad want to spend time together. And that's important. And so put them to bed at a decent hour and watch a movie together. Have some fun together. So we're also talking about, um, is there anything that you guys are doing that you can share? Share on the feed if there's something you're doing that's intentional, that's fun, that you're making time for each other. Um, we also talked about asking whether there was anything else you guys wanted to talk about or that we wanted, that you wanted us to talk about. Um, yeah, we would love to share uh, anything that we've learned. We'd love to hear from your guys' comments as well. What are you doing to kind of keep saying, uh, to keep improving the health of your marriage even during this time? Uh, we'll see you soon.